Ayo. What's going on YouTube? It's the Flies Vlogger on the planet. My name is Showtime Bazaar. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great, positive, productive day as always. You know, I got hip hop news, cultural updates, and everything like that for you guys today. But before we do any and all that, you know what you got to do. See that subscribe button on your screen right there. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so each and every time one of my videos drop the content that I'm providing to you, you don't miss it. Let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. <laughs> YouTube, what up though? All right, so uh, let's, it's been a slow week in the culture, you know, slow last two couple weeks, so, but I did find some things that were interesting and I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. So let's start this thing off by talking about the twerking senator. Uh, her name is Tierra Mack. Now, a viral video uh, surfaced on social media of this Center Tia Mac on vacation and she is <laughs> twerking in a handstand and a lot of people attacked her uh, for TikTok and everything like that talking about there's no way that she should win even though she's already a senator so she's not running right now but there's no way she should continue to be a senator she should be fired X, Y, and Z yada 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 here's my thing one I think she, first of all let's just congratulate this senator for being able to twerk while in the handstand. There are women who go to clubs every night or every weekend that cannot twerk while in the handstand. So I think she should deserve a round of applause for that. I think she deserves some praise for this talent that the senator is displaying. A, because she's a senator, and this is not something that she does every day. Well, maybe it is because she can do it. So I don't know. I just thought that was an incredible talent. And she got cakes. So <laughs> let's just uh, let's admire what we what was going on in that in that video. But um, also, I think we're making this a big deal for no reason. Okay. Um, the fact that we put politicians in this box of not being able to be human is ridiculous. I don't think that her twerking means that she does not care for the people or is not going to do what she set out to do as a senator. There's lots of senators that said that they're gonna do things and never get them done. And they ain't twerking and they ain't smoking, they ain't drinking, they ain't doing nothing. They just taking people's money and going on vacations to you know Dubai and Aruba and having fun. And meanwhile, the American people are sitting here suffering, living paycheck to paycheck. So, um, I think we need to focus on that more uh, about the actual senators that are doing less than this woman twerking. It's not that big a deal. She was on vacation. It wasn't like she was twerking in the office. It wasn't like she was twerking. She does it all the time. It wasn't like she was listening to Cardi B and, you know, turning up with Cardi B at a thing. And, and, come on, y'all. What are we talking about here? Okay. She's on vacation. She was having fun. Anybody else, they're okay with it, but because she's a senator, now we have to make her boring and lame, and she has to go by these rules. I think that's corny, man. I think she should be able to live her life and do her job. As long as she's doing her job, I really don't care that she's working on her vacation. Live your life, love. Do what you want to do, but as um, long as she's getting some legislation passed or attempting to get some legislation passed and attempting to continue to... You, you know, serve our community. I don't see the issue with it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. How do you feel about Tierra Mac twerking? Um, like it, don't like it, inappropriate, don't care. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, y'all, on to the next subject here. So there's a uh, challenge that I think is funny that's going around right now, okay? It's called the Put Your Shoes On Challenge. And what it is, is just parents running to their kids and basically seeing if they kids ready to ride, okay? Um, I think it's hilarious because I actually seen it a couple nights ago and it was this dad and he's got like four kids and he walks in there, he fake like he just got beat up and he's like, you know, uh, it's some kids outside, they just jumped me, what y'all go do? You know what I'm saying? You gotta go get these kids. And it's all four of them, they kinda like, you know, one kid's like, I'm about to go get my boxing gloves and I'm about to go beat them up, dad. 
I just think it's funny. Okay, now ironically, I heard the Breakfast Club talking about it, and Charlemagne didn't really like Six, it. I didn't know what number you, you know was on. You finished? No, okay. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Pay is the baby, so we can't count the baby. I can't even believe we're entertaining this conversation. I don't like it. I don't like people laughing at their kids' pain, traumatizing those kids for likes and reposts. I hate it. You got kids crying on the internet, scared to death because you want to go viral. I think it's whack. I don't like it at all. It's kind of funny though. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like laughing at these kids' pain, and I don't want my kids fighting anybody if they don't have to. I'm gonna teach my daughters how to defend themselves, of course. But I pray they never have to have any alter, any altercation. Um, he thought it was traumatizing kids. I don't really agree with it. Traumatizing kids. Now there are some kids who are afraid, uh, who are saying things like, you know, I don't want to be violent and. You know, like, I'm scared or what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They just, basically, they're just recording their kids' reaction. Here's my thoughts on it, man. I, I think it's hilarious just because some of these kids, they just ready to fight. Now, I don't know if they know it's a joke. What I do know is um, it's funny seeing these kids. Like, I think the idea of going to play superhero, that's how it looks to me. Okay, some of these kids is out here looking like they about to go play superhero with their parent. You know what I'm saying? Like, or defend their parent. I don't know. It's just like some of these kids, they like, I'm about to go get my boxing glove. I'm about to go get my stick. I'm about to go get my toy sword. Or, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, let's go get them, mom. Like, or let's go get them, dad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just think that's funny. I think it's dope that, you know, some of these parents got kids that's down the right. I also think that it's very, um... I think some of these parents have very caring kids who aren't with the violence. And that's okay too, you know what I'm saying? Those videos I probably wouldn't post um, or post it very long just because those kids seem actually terrified. But the, for the ones that's got the kids that's ready to go to war, hey man, I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny. I think it's, you know, a cool thing to do. And I think that it's just all in fun. Like, it's just a joke, okay? If you're taking it serious, you just throwing got to you know what. Okay, calm down. It's just a joke. But I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny. Let me know what you guys think about the Put Your Shoes on Talent. Do you think that these parents are terrorizing these kids? Or do you think it's just a funny joke? Would you do it with your kids? Have you done it with your kids? Let me know all that in the comments below. All right, y'all. And the last thing I want to discuss with you guys today before I get up out of here. So uh, this viral clip of Vince Staples talking to Speedy has resurfaced about giving gifts uh take a listen to what ben staples said i don't like gifts so like i feel you, you don't like gifts nah how come because gifts aren't selfless like if somebody give you a gift right they want you to like it because it's really about them it's not about you they want to feel they want to feel like they did something right for you if you if somebody gave you a gift and then you was like all right for sure thanks they're gonna be mad so you might be the first person i ever heard that said they don't like gifts let's you ever say seen a look at somebody's face when they give you a gift they yeah. waiting for you to get them reassurance that they did the right thing. I, I be selfish. doing that. I yeah, people that. selfish as hell, bro. Hang you some shit and stare in your eyes, bro. That shit is crazy. I would do. I'll be like, look, I got this for you, and I'd be excited because I like to give gifts. I, I yeah. like to give you, people you, gifts. You like to give gifts, right? I love oh, to give bro. gifts, but I love to give gifts to people who love to receive gifts because then they're happy and it makes me happy to see them happy. But it's still about you being happy. It's more so, uh, maybe, maybe. All right, so. Um, I'm kind of torn on this, one, right? Because while I understand what Vince Staples is saying, I don't know if I agree with the thought process. Okay, here's what. I don't give someone a gift for me to be happy. Um, I give someone a gift for them to be happy. And the gift genuinely tends to excite the person because it depending on what it is it could be something they've been wanting for a long time it could be something that they was just looking at the other day you know it could be something that they need and just couldn't afford it so uh i i don't know if i did it for me i, I don't do things like that for me like i don't give gifts for me to feel a way about myself you know what i'm saying like i feel like if i get you a gift the purpose of me getting you the gift was um, out of the kindness of my heart. I don't buy somebody something and stare at their face like, you better be happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I do that. Um, and I could be wrong. I, I can't look at my face while I do it. I just know that when I give somebody a gift, the purpose of it is to see the excitement and the joy in their face. It's like, if you got a kid, you don't buy a kid a gift 
to feel like the best parent in the world. Or maybe you do. I don't know, because that's how some people feel about Santa Claus, which is why they tell their kids it's no Santa Claus, because they want all the credit. Nevertheless, I, personally, that's another story for another day. I just think kids don't care about who gives a damn gift. They just want the toy. Anyway, um, I don't give... Yeah, I just, I feel like... Um, but he has a point, though. And this is why I feel like it is torn. Because there are people that will give gifts and make it seem like they are a great person because they gave you a gift. And if you're doing that, then you are, you know, then it's like, I don't want it because you didn't do it for me. You did it to say that you did something great for yourself, for your own reassurance. And that's corny to me. So, I don't know, man. Um, this is a tough one. Uh, but I do, I'll say this. Personally, I don't give gifts for my own satisfaction. I give gifts to uh, for the person satisfaction. Whoever I'm giving the gift to, I want them to be happy with what I gave them. Um, just because I like to, you know, I like to assist. I like to see other people happy. Seeing other people happy makes me happy. So that's just my opinion on it. Um, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Uh, do you agree with? Um, do you agree with Vince Staples? Do you not agree with Vince Staples? Do you agree with Speedy? Let me know all your thoughts, opinions, comments in the comments below. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.